Hello and welcome to Amazon Simple Email Service Deliverability Learning Series. My name is Ajinkya, a Cloud Support Engineer too, here at the AWS office in Hunter, Virginia. I help customers with email deliverability with a focus on inbox deliverability and placement. Amazon SES is a cloud email service provider that can integrate into any application for bulk email sending. Senders from small startups to large enterprise accounts can use SES to reach their customers, but getting messages to the recipient's inbox can be tricky. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to onboard your email solution to Amazon SES. You'll see each step on screen on how to migrate from traditional email providers to SES, improving deliverability while reducing complexity and costs. Amazon SES offers a powerful, cost-effective email solution with a straightforward onboarding process. It enables you to scale your email system, reduce infrastructure costs, and leverage advanced deliverability features, all while minimizing technical complexity. Before beginning your migration to SES, you'll need to gather some key information about your email requirements, your expected daily email volume, your expected emails per second, the types of emails you plan to send, whether you need dedicated IPs, and your sending domains. First, let's verify the sending domain. I'm opening the SES console and navigating to verified identities. Watch as I create a new domain identity and enable DKM sign. DKM, domain keys identified mail, acts as your email's digital signature. When you send an email, SES adds a cryptographic signature using a private key. The receiving server uses the public key published in your DNS to verify the signature matches. Notice the DNS records that appear. These CNAME records need to be added to your domain's DNS settings. Once added, SES will automatically detect them and show verification status as verified with a green checkmark. Now, I'm configuring SPF and DMARC authentication. SPF, Sender Policy Framework, is like a guest list for your domain. It tells receiving servers which IP addresses are allowed to send emails on behalf of your domain. This means allow Amazon SES servers to send for this domain and treat emails from other servers as suspicious. Next, I'm adding the DMARC record. DMARC, Domain-Based Message Authentication, Reporting, and Conformance is the security guard that checks both SPF and DKM to detect spoofing and phishing attempts. It tells receiving servers what to do if an email fails authentication, quarantine it, reject it, or just monitor. The policy offers three options. P is equal to none for monitoring purposes, P is equal to quarantine to direct messages to the spam folder, or P is equal to reject to block messages entirely. As shown on screen, the P is equal to none setting enables monitoring mode without taking any filtering actions on incoming messages. Notice my account shows sandbox mode here with restrictions. I can only send to verified email addresses and I'm limited to 200 emails per day. I'm now requesting production access through this form. You can see the fields asking for use case description, expected volume, and how you handle bounces and complaints. SES reviews this to ensure you're a legitimate sender. Once approved, your account will move from sandbox to full production access, allowing for daily high volume sending. If you need higher limits, you can request a limit increase based on your sending history and email reputation. For high volume sending, let's look at dedicated IPs. By default, your emails are sent from shared IP addresses. You are sharing these IPs with other SES customers. This is fine for low or unpredictable email volume, but for high email volume, you want to have better control over your reputation. Amazon SES offers two types of dedicated IP. Standard dedicated IP addresses give you complete manual control over your email sending infrastructure, while managed dedicated IPs are automatically configured and maintained by Amazon SES. With standard dedicated IPs, you have full responsibility and control over building your sending reputation, warming up new IPs, expanding your IP pool, 
and managing IP assignment. This option is ideal for users who want hands-on management of their email infrastructure. In contrast with managed dedicated IPs, you simply opt in and complete a one-time walkthrough to create your managed dedicated IP pool. SES then handles the warm-up process for each of your dedicated IP addresses using an adaptive strategy to optimize the warm-up for different email providers. Overall, managed dedicated IP addresses in Amazon SES provide a more automated and hands-off approach to using dedicated IPs for your email sending needs which require you to follow email delivery best practices while sending to avoid impacting your IP reputation and achieve a high inbox placement rates with other mailbox providers. Watch as I create a configuration set. Configuration sets are like control panels for your email sending. They serve two main purposes. First, event destinations. You can see these options for publishing email metrics. When someone opens your email, clicks a link or email bounces, you can publish email metrics, sends, deliveries, opens, clicks, bounces to other AWS services for analysis. For example, send metrics to Amazon Firehose or get SNS notifications for bounces. Second, IP pool management. If you have multiple dedicated IPs, you can group them into pools. For example, Put marketing emails on one IP pool and transaction emails on another. This way, if your marketing campaign's reputation is impacted, your critical transaction emails like password resets aren't affected. Monitoring your sending activity is crucial for protecting your email reputation. SES offers comprehensive tracking through event publishing to services like CloudWatch, SNS, and EventBridge. CloudWatch integration lets you create dashboards showing delivery rates, bounce rates, and complaint rates over time. You can set alarms when bounce rate exceed 5% or complaint rates exceed 0.1% to take immediate action and protect your sending reputation. SNS notifications provide real-time alerts. When someone marks your email as spam, you get a notification with their email address so you can remove them from your list. Event Bridge enables automation. For example, automatically pause sending if complaint rates spike or trigger Lambda function to update your database when email bounce. For enhanced deliverability insights, consider Virtual Deliverability Manager VDM, which provides actionable advice on improving delivery success rates. VDM helps improve your email delivery success by identifying configuration problems that could impact your email deliverability and sending reputation. It scans your email setup and flags issues with your sending domain, IP address, and authentication records. You will receive specific recommendations when problems are found like missing SPF, DMARC, or DKIM records or when your DKIM key length isn't strong enough. You can also set up Google Postmaster tools for insights into how Gmail specifically views your sending practices. Before going live, let's test with the email simulator. Watch as I send test email to these special simulator addresses. Success at simulator.amazonses.com always succeeds. Bounce at simulator.amazonses.com simulates a hard bounce. Complaint at simulator.amazonses.com simulates someone marking your email as spam. You can see how your application handles each scenario. Does it properly remove bounced addresses? Does it stop sending to complainers? This testing doesn't count against your quotas or affect your reputation. When configuring your application to send through SES, you will choose between two primary methods, SMTP or API. Here's the SMTP configuration. It works like traditional email servers. You get SMTP credentials, configure your application with Amazon SES SMTP endpoint on ports 25, 587, 465, 2587, 2465 and send emails using standard SMTP libraries. This is perfect for existing applications or email clients that already use SMTP. 
The API integration is perfect for modern applications and high performance needs, offering direct HTTPS requests and AWS SDK integration. With single request per email and both formatted and raw email options, choose this approach when building new applications where performance and scalability are critical. You can see the code difference here. The API call is more direct and provides better error handling and performance for high volume sending. To maximize your email throughput, configure your sending application with multiple threads for concurrent sending, use persistent HTTP connections, and consider hosting your application close to the SES API endpoint to reduce latency. For high volume senders, the API approach typically offers better performance than SMTP. To optimize your SES network performance, host applications close to SES endpoints, utilize query API instead of SMTP, maintain persistent connections, and regularly monitor your connection limits. When sending emails through Amazon SES, remember to measure your sending metrics and test using the SES mailbox simulator. Keep an eye on your sending quotas and ensure you're balancing concurrent requests to maintain optimal performance and delivery rates. Finally, follow bulk sender requirements, especially with new guidelines for major providers effective May 5, 2025. Let's break down the three key areas you need to focus on. First, let's talk about implementing strong authentication. To protect your email sending, you'll need to set up three critical security measures, SPF, DKM, and DMARC. SPF or Sender Policy Framework tells email providers which servers can send emails from your domain. DKM provides cryptographic signing to verify email authenticity, and DMARC ties these together with a clear policy. Remember, if you're using email identities alone for sending, you'll need to switch to domain identity to align with bulk sender requirements. Second, let's discuss monitoring and maintenance. Stay on top of your bounce rates, both hard and soft bounces. Use Amazon SES's Virtual Deliverability Manager to track and improve your delivery success. Keep your complaint rates under 0.1% and regularly check your authentication setup. Remember to maintain good list hygiene by removing inactive subscribers and promptly handling unsubscribe requests. Finally, email content optimization. Your emails should always clearly identify who you are. Include an easy to find unsubscribe link in every email. For commercial content, be upfront about it. Always verify that all links in your emails are working properly. These practices will help ensure your emails reach their intended recipients while maintaining compliance with industry standards. For detailed setup instructions and more information, consult the Amazon SES documentation. This is the end of the Amazon SES email deliverability learning series focused on onboarding your email solutions to Amazon SES. Please be on the lookout for our next deliverability learning series video. I hope this video has helped you better understand how to successfully onboard your email system to Amazon SES, simplifying your email operations while improving deliverability and scalability. Your organization can now focus on core business objectives rather than email infrastructure challenges. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Thank you for your time.